the ball pretty well. Defensively, we're, we're fine. Devin was getting hot. Is this just, are the Suns just a team that got a lot of weapons and you got to just be on your P's and Q's throughout the whole yeah, game? Right? Uh, they're very talented. They had it kind of going uh, and all, at all cylinders tonight. Uh, you know, they, they were getting it inside to the big fellas. Uh, they were finishing. Also, you know, everybody was hitting their shots. Uh, they were, we were trying to force them into tough twos, and obviously they do that well with, with CP3 and Devin, and they were just hitting everything, really. Uh, but at the end of the day, we got to just uh, do a better job of, uh, of sticking to the game plan and try to, you know, get them out of a rhythm when, whenever they find it. And I would couldn't, we couldn't do that. Appreciate it. When you guys were getting a couple of runs, unfortunately, you know, Cade and then later Josh, went out of the or got adjusted. Does that kind of the stop to the momentum that you guys are kind of building? Uh, I mean, Cade's a big part of, of our team, obviously, and Josh. Uh, so when things happen like that, obviously, it's unfortunate. Uh, so, I mean, Cade had kind of had it going, and that obviously, you know, sent him away. I don't exactly know exactly uh, what happened on the play. I didn't, I wasn't able to watch it again. Um, it's definitely a big time loss for both of that, both of those guys to go out of the game. Obviously, Kerry, you know, I think he had 21 points in 24 minutes. What's the biggest stress you've seen from him just as far as his command in, in, of the game and knowing when to pick his spots? Because, you know, especially over the past weeks, like he's been getting into the paint a lot more. Yeah, the game has is, is been slowing down uh, for him. You know, he's very, very smart player. Obviously, his size uses his body well. He could shoot the ball as well. Uh, so, you know, he kind of has, you know, from, from all aspects in terms of he get to the, to, to the paint and finish, uh, he could, you know, shoot that pullover, jumper over smaller guys, and also he could shoot the three. So he definitely uh, is going to see, you know, blitzes and double teams throughout his, you know, whole career. So he'll be ready for that. And he's kind of learning throughout as he goes and he's doing a hell of a job. So we're going to need him to continue to do that. And Kelly's been out for a while, obviously, but uh, it seems like he's getting close to returning just – for you, I mean, you played a lot of basketball with Kelly. Just how exciting is it for him to almost be back? Yeah, it would be a huge help to whenever he does come back to get him back, because uh, we all know he, he just helps, you know, uh, with the experience and his 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 leadership and you know his IQ of the game really helps him. You know, he's out on the court. Corey, Dwayne has talked a lot about rebounding as a group, as a collective. And just outside of tonight, I know Phoenix is one of those rare teams that has like close to four seven footers. Um, when the rebounding margin by 19. But do you think overall, as the last few weeks, you guys have done a better job of, of rebounding as a collective? We're definitely focusing on it. Uh, I haven't checked the numbers over the last couple of weeks. Uh, don't, but it feels like we're doing better. But, I mean, I don't know what the numbers say. You probably, know sure. more, yeah, you probably know more than me on that aspect. But it feels like we're doing better. We're trying to uh, help each other out on that. We know we're a little bit smaller sometimes out there on the court. So it takes definitely all five guys that's out there. So it feels like we've been doing a little better, but... I don't know the numbers. Thank you. Thank you.